It's easy to do as a, as a backhaul, microwave backhaul. It's easy to deploy, you basically use this a camera to, 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 uh, to, have to, to create this point-to-point -point, uh, connectivity over Minilink. But I'm continuing this path of where you want to build coverage. If that's, if that's a fairly big site. Um, as I said, we need to, to have solutions for everything that would, would be needed to, to build good coverage. And the latest invention to, to bring that in is, of course, the dot. What, we, what we've done here is we split up the radio interface. So by some, uh, a lot of patents and a lot of mumbo jumbo that I don't understand. But this is what you bring into the, to the uh, office buildings around the world. Because the problem with modern buildings today is that you normally, especially in many places in the US, you have sun shielding on the windows. Sun shielding is good for shielding out the sun, but it's also very good for shielding out radio signals. So you might have good coverage outdoor, but bad coverage indoor. So that's the reason we, we believe that the DOT would help enterprises around the world to build good coverage also indoor, without affecting, sort of disturbing uh, the world outside. Because this is also important to, to, to remember. This, the, to deploy this one, you need to have a LAN network in your, in your office building. And, well, you have. You plug this one into a LAN cable. That's the only thing you need to do in the roof. You pull a cable to the indoor radio unit, which is basically a, it looks like a blade computer. It's, it's over there, actually. You plug it in there, and then that one in turn you plug into the base station, and bam, you have indoor, very, very good indoor coverage. Each of these is about 500 square meters of coverage. What did you call that? The dot. The dot, yeah. D-O-T. D-O-T. Dot. So, so the Ericsson dot, you can find a lot of information about um, on the Ericsson site as well. So. And. But, but the information of the, of the networks, I mean, there's so much, as I said in the beginning, with, with sensors around us, that we give, will we'll make us take the best decisions. It's also, I mean, this information in the network, especially in the backhaul networks, can be used for predicting weather conditions. So that's, that's what we have over here. I just want to show you.